Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with another video on the Minecraft modded anarchy server that I am currently owning or running. Um, and I wanted to do some updates in March to get, you know, like a spring update. I think I'm going to do three or four updates a year of adding new mods uh, or new features. And I just wanted to make an update about the spring update to the server. I have added three or four new mods to the server. And I think they make it a ton of fun. Great options, great way to basically play, and just to uh, new ways to enjoy the server. Now, as you can see, I know I've said there's no OPs on the server. It's my server, deal with it. <laughs> uh, the only reason I say that is because one, it makes it easier for me to test mods if I'm in creative mode and I don't have to worry about mobs and stuff like that. So if I'm testing mods or something that I'm putting on the server, I'm going to be in creative mode. And two, I'm a shitty builder. My friend John, who's basing with me, actually built the Notre Dame that you see behind me. Did a very good job. He's an amazing builder. And if you are coming, I've decided that if you can prove you're not going to abuse your abilities and I can and you prove that I can trust you and you simply want to do it for a build I may allow you creative mode but it'll go through a process of me like how much do I really trust this person so with that that's how he built that it's his favorite thing on Minecraft to build this is also why I'm in creative mode. I haven't slept since the day I started the server. Uh, and that's actually one of the mods I haven't slept on purpose is because every seven days, the phantoms get bigger and do more damage, which I think is a very cool mod. So that's been here since the beginning, but let me show you some of the new stuff. So. The first new thing that I have, I need my list on my other screen. There we go. So the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is creeper nades. This is something that I think every anarchy server, maybe not anarchy server, but every uh, Minecraft server should really have that's like factions based or PvP based. If you have, these are special creeper nades. These ones you can get by doing slash TCE give tech X. 64. That's how you can get the special ones, but this does also work with normal creeper eggs, and I'll show you in a minute how to get those as well. But first of all, if you simply left click and throw it, you're throwing creepers. It's literally a creeper grenade, and I think it's an amazing option for PvP, something that definitely needs to even maybe be added into regular Minecraft as a way to basically craft these explodable throwables like you could probably do it very easily with something like uh hmm something that you would craft with a uh ender pearl would be definitely really cool they have a two second fuse timer which means if i go up really high and still throw it oh also and the other reason that you know i've allowed a myself OP it's because since I'm a shitty builder I wanted a uh, I wanted to use schematics but since they have a two second fuse timer you can also use them like fireworks and eventually I'm gonna get like spawnable fireworks and stuff like that too that's gonna be a mod in the future the other one that I wanted to show off is uh, x-ray so X-Ray is actually built right into the game client, or the game server now, which is really fucking cool. So if you simply just go slash X-Ray, you'll notice the chunks below you will X-Ray. And it's all built right in now. You don't have to worry about using a client that might lag your computer. It's all handled on the server side. So you just simply type it once to enable it type it twice to disable it if there's some TPS issues on the server you'll get this where a chunk just simply doesn't go back and I need to figure out a way to fix that um, 
that's the only bug with it right now. The only way to fix it right now is to either completely x-ray a chunk and then on x-ray and hope it doesn't do anything or hope it doesn't do that or you can just fly out of the loaded chunk or walk out of the loaded chunk and there we go so now that we're out of the chunk there's one of my other builds I actually did build that I didn't build this obviously this would have been ridiculous I did not build this but as you can see it fixed itself so that's something I'll work on getting the bugs worked out of that but for right now it's a thing <laughs> the other thing that I did is called color anvils so if you take an anvil and you do slash CA list you'll see that there's a bunch of options for naming items so you can get a bunch of different colors you can do red gold yellow dark green green aqua dark aqua dark blue blue white gray dark purple black um, and then all these different fonts as well so if you actually go into your anvil now and let's say I want to do my axe I can do uh, let's see I can do and D and L and K and then just do that and since 666 is three characters I get three randomized characters I can add a fourth and that adds a fourth I can do a fifth sixth I don't know okay there is a length limit got it but I can do basically like that or I can get rid of the and K and just do admin and it will actually do the color code for admin and everything um, but there's a whole bunch of different color codes and different things. My favorite thing is definitely randomized, which I just think is the coolest thing ever. The, let me do game mode night for more, not game mode, uh, time set night. I want it to be nighttime because for the next thing that I want to show you guys, I guess I didn't have to do this. I didn't show you guys yet how this works, but let's say you want to <coughs> get your Pokemon fix. See Mr. Enderman here? I can throw eggs at him. Ah, oh, he moved. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. So you have a 30% chance at creating yourself a spawn egg which I might change that 30% to something lower. There he is. So since he teleported to over here. Endermen are very difficult to do this with. But as you can see, I now have an Enderman spawn egg. And since I'm in creative, I can spawn a ton of them. But this is a new way that you can try to get mob spawn eggs is simply by playing Pokemon, honestly. As you can see, I got another one. I just realized the audio was on from my computer screen. Let's turn that off, I feel really bad. I can throw them at Creepers. And the cool thing about the Creeper one is guess what? Once you get the Creeper egg, you can throw it and use it as the grenade. So that's a great way to get that. I'm going to try to duplicate something with the creeper mod or the uh, grenade mod where like if you capture a skeleton, you can throw arrows or if you capture a spider, you can throw the egg and do something else with it. As you can see, I caught the spider now. Can't do anything with it though, except spawn it. Huh. Anyway, so that's another cool feature. You can also even catch like friendly mobs if you want to create a farm for unlimited food. So you can capture pigs, you can capture cows, you can capture villagers. I haven't tested that yet, but I'm pretty sure you can. Also, there has been a note of a lot of lag on the server with TPS lately. I know. Um, 
apparently I can't throw this at I'm supposed to be able to catch them I guess you can't catch horses so make yourself a chicken farm get some eggs yeah I can't catch horses I did not huh oh you can catch a horse cool so I caught a horse you can catch friendly mobs let's try on a villager because I haven't tried that yet Ah, uh, they're going to get mad if you do it. Should be able to... Okay, maybe 30% is a good amount because I am not catching shit. Maybe I can't catch villagers. I thought you could. I'll have to check the config if... Uh, okay, you can catch a villager. It was just really hard. And then, oh, that's the pig. I don't care about the pig. Uh, give me my villager. And then, now I can spawn villagers. So you can, there's 59 different mobs that are supported by this. So you can even do, like, evokers and stuff from woodland mansions. That works. I love my hot air balloons. These are so cool. I gotta get light inside them, though, because stuff spawns in them if you're in the same chunk. Oh, and when I mentioned the lag, so the lag is actually due to our build of the Notre Dame, and I apologize for that. My friend John little, went a little nuts, but it's a cool build, and I hate asking him to do this, but I've done a ton of research, and when there's multiple people online in the same area as a lot of bedrock, he wanted to use bedrock for the floor because of the texture. I get it. That's it. The church is fucking amazing. It, he did very well. Um, and he builds this all the time. It's like his favorite thing to build. I don't know what's wrong with the guy. <laughs> but, uh, the lag is largely because of the bedrock. And he is going to change it out the next time he's on, so we don't have to worry about it. Um, it does drop the TPS with more than one or two people in the same chunk as a ton of bedrock. So that's why there's such an issue with the server lag right now is just because of that I was going to throw one of these but then I realized I'm on top of the church and I don't want to blow it up I love it I love creeper nades they're so freaking cool uh, I don't think there there was one other mod I was testing it doesn't seem to work it was mob mystery boxes you have like a 10% chance that mobs will drop a mystery box rather than a rather than a uh, their normal drops and it just doesn't work it keeps throwing an error in the console so I'm just going to uh, disable it and go from there because it just makes life easier and I'll find something to replace it, and I'll make an update video in the future on that. But as of right now, if you have any suggestions for mods to add to the server, I'll keep them in mind for the summer update, and we'll go from there. I will also probably be updating this to 1.16 once it drops. I'll probably wait for the next iteration of 1.16, so like 1.16.1. I won't go straight to 1.16, because that's just... Ooh, not really worth it. Ah, power one, cool. And I also do, have, if you want to use the trader villagers that take these gems, let me know. I'll get my alt online and I can spawn the one that you want at your base. Uh, and obviously as an admin, I'm not going to leak your coordinates. That's fucking stupid. But I'll teleport to you and I'll spawn one for you and we'll go from there because it'd be really cool to actually have that mod work i like the idea of the uh, gem villagers but unfortunately they just don't seem to spawn naturally and no matter what i do with the configuration of the plugin it doesn't work so anyway guys if you have any other ideas as far as um mods or updates i forgot he did this this is so fucking cool 
you have any other ideas as far as mods for the server, let me know and I'll get them set up on the server and we'll go from there. And that'll be the summer update is whatever you guys decide. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoy the updates and peace out.